Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, some of you may or may not uh, know if you're regular viewers, but about a year ago, I purchased uh, these three pieces of Everlast welding equipment, and then I decided I was gonna build carts for all three pieces of equipment, and uh, I gotta say, I'm very pleased at the way they turned out. Um, they work perfectly for me. They fit right back in here, and I can pull them out and use them as I need them. But there's just one thing that I didn't really complete when I built these carts, and that's a place to put these leads. Now you can see that um, all the welding leads and, and torch leads that I have on here, they just drape across the front of the machine. And I, I knew that there was some, I, I needed to do something to, to make it look more um, uh, attractive and make it uh, more functional. But at the time, I was in a hurry and I didn't do that. But uh, I've been thinking about it for the last, uh, oh, a couple months or so. And I'm going to change that. But you know what? I have a tendency to overanalyze every single thing I do and thinking about it too long and trying to get the best possible scenario of what I think is going to work. And I'm telling you, there's, as they say, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. And this, I finally decided, this is the way we're going to do this. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing here is I, I found this piece of... Uh, eight inch uh, uh, diameter, eighth inch thick wall piece of scrap pipe I had laying around the shop right here. And uh, what I thought I would do is rip this, or cut it with a plasma cutter I should say, I don't know, maybe two and a half inches wide, and just cut this whole circle off, and then cut this circle in half so I have like a half round. And then uh, these, these frames are made out of inch and a half square tubes, so I'm gonna take the welder off and take this top, uh, piece of wood off the top right here and I'm going to cut me a piece of inch and a half square tube I don't know somewhere about yay high or so and I'm going to weld it right under the top of this frame right here and then I'll take this half round and weld that half round to the tube and then I'm going to put a couple of tabs on the back and a couple of tabs on the front that may stick up about two two and a half maybe three inches tall and then that should be able to hold my leads and my torch uh, my torch leads and, and ground leads perfectly a lot better than what I got going on right here. So, I don't know, I thought about it, thought about it, and overanalyzed it. This is the way I'm doing it, and I'm sure it'll turn out fine. I'm sure it'll be better than what I have here. So, let's do it. Okay, so what I got here is, um, because I need three of these half pieces right here, uh, I've got three pieces of equipment, um, I'm gonna need to cut two sections here, and I've decided to go ahead and cut these at three inches wide. So I found this piece of, uh, I don't know, it's like, a, it's like plastic that's pretty flexible right here. So um, I ripped this thing at two and a half inches because when I put my plasma uh, torch up against the, the edge of it right here, yeah, I need about a quarter of an inch. So I've got this thing, but it's, it's not quite flexible enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna clamp it. I'm gonna clamp it to the surface right here. Um, we're going to go right about right there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clamp it to the table here. Something like that. And I'm going to get this torch and heat this up. And hopefully this thing will bend and shape and form its way around. And then I'll just screw that to it and I'll be able to have a template on both sides of this. I'll run the plasma cutter around both sides and cut two pieces at one time. Right. All right, there it is, got a guide. We're just gonna cut along this side right here, cut along this side right here. We'll have two pieces, three inches wide. We'll cut them both in half. We'll end up with four, we only need three, but hey, there we go, let's do it.
Okay, so we're getting ready to cut this uh, into its half sections right here. Now, um, you know, this is, I don't know if you want to call it spring steel or, or whatever it may be, but uh, this is a pipe put together. And when this thing is cut right here, this thing is going to just explode open. I don't know how far it's going to go, but this is originally an 8 inch round diameter piece of uh, tube. I would imagine by the time we cut this thing in half, it'll expand open to about a uh, maybe a 12 inch uh, half radius. So anyways, we're going to cut this thing. We're going to watch this thing pop open. Let's do it. didn't go as far as I thought I was going to, but that wasn't too bad. All right, so we got our three, uh, we got our three pieces cut out, and we got our three halves right here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take my flap disc and and clean up all the edges and knock off all the uh, rust and everything that we got here uh, before we move forward. And um, I put a brand new flap disc on here. Now I picked up these uh, these flap discs uh, from Lay Valley Abrasives, and I'm telling you what, this here is a the, these things here. You can find these things at the Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and they're seven or eight dollars a piece. I ended up buying about a hundred of these things from Lay Valley, and I got them for about a dollar, just a little over a dollar a piece. And I'm telling you, these things are amazing. They work every bit as good as some of the more expensive ones. Uh, Lay Valley Abrasives. Check it out. Okay, so I just want to correct something really quick. I told everybody that uh, uh, I got these abrasive wheels from uh, Lay Valley for a little over a dollar. Well, actually, it was about a dollar. I think it was about a dollar eighty, but still a great value uh, compared to the big box stores. As you can see, um, grinding everything down, smoothing everything off, really good. Uh, before we get over and cut out the uh, inch and a half square tubing and the tabs. Uh, yeah, plasma cutter works really good for this. But uh, All right, so we're cutting everything out before we get over to the uh, cutoff saw. And uh, we're gonna cut the tubing here and cut the tabs for, you know, to hold, uh, hold the leads on. Uh, you know, the saw works really nice. This brand new uh, blade I got on here, it just cuts, it just cuts this metal like butter. If you guys don't have a, you know, cold cut saw like this, uh, you guys ought to get one. This, this thing's amazing, especially if you do a lot of metal work. You know, these things work really well, cut really fast. It's the best thing, one of the best things I ever invested. All right, so we're gonna get uh, this all done up and uh, take things over to the uh, Yoast and uh, just soften the edges up a little bit, take off the burrs and clean things up before we uh, start fabricating. And uh, you know, the fabrication went pretty well here. Um, I'm really pleased the way things uh, are coming together on this. This is uh, kind of shooting from the hip from the very beginning, but uh, you know what? Um, everything uh, is turning out really good so far. Uh, and here we are just welding on the square tube to the half rounds, and then we're going to go ahead and get the tabs uh, welded on there. So we're going to continue the fabrication and uh, pick this up towards the end. Okay, so we're near the end here. You can see we got everything fabricated and uh, you know what, it looks pretty good. I'm uh, gonna slap some paint on this thing. This is the uh, same color paint as what I did for the carts. This uh, is just kind of like a semi-gloss or like a satin finish black. And uh, the very last step is to go ahead and to get these things welded on the cart. You know, went pretty well. Uh, the plywood, I uh, had to take that off and uh, you know, we had to, uh, I had to, you know, one last thing I had to do when I took the plywood off is, is I, you know, got obviously got a notch out around where I welded that on. So that was not a problem. We just marked it out and got my skill saw, or not my skill saw, but my, <laughs> my jigsaw out and took care of that. Uh, so, yeah, it worked out really good. Plopped it on, screwed it down, and you know what? There we are, right at the end of the project. Everything works really well, looks good. Well, there you go, everyone. Um, welder, torch, leads, ground, leads, rack, whatever you want to call it. 
Hey, it looks a lot better than what it did before I got started. Um, a lot of thought went into this. There was a lot of different ways I thought about trying to do it, but I just decided to jump in there and get it done. And uh, this turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. it. It was a good, it was a fun build. Everything looks nice and organized. Um, I'm really pleased the way it turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.